Welcome. This video shows you how to create a quotation to import cargo for a customer using the query tool in Magaya to see how it automates the process. Then we'll go through the fields in the screens to show you what information we'll fill into the quotation document. We'll finish with a quick look at working with the quotations list in the Magaya system. First, we'll show you a few ways you can add a quotation. If you go to quotations, you can click the add button. Also, if you go to the quotation list, you'll find the add button there too. And then lastly, you can create a quotation from a query. If you go to quotations, you can click the actions button and click query rates. Or you can go to quotation list, click the actions button and click query rates. If you go to the rates section in Magaya, you can click on any of the three rates sections here and then click the actions button to also query rates. Before using the query tool, let's take a quick moment to talk about rates in Magaya. Let's first talk about standard client rates. These are also known as selling rates and are the base rates for all your customers. They can be for any type of freight service such as air, ocean, or ground. They also include origins and destinations. Client rates are also selling rates and apply only to certain customers. You can add the rates here or under their profile found in maintenance. The last type of rate in Magaya is a carrier rate. These are also known as buying rates or purchasing rates for your freight services. If you'd like, you can create each rate per container and it will be saved in the list and in the carrier's profile. Note that these rates don't show on your quotation by default. So now let's go back to the quotation list and create a query. First, we'll click Actions and then Query Rates. So let's go ahead and query selling rates for an import quotation. Let's first select the customer, then the query date. Here we can select the service, for example, air freight service. If there's additional freight services, we can click this button and add them. In this example, we'll just do an air freight service all in. Next, we have the method, for example, air. In here, we can select the origin and then the destination. We can select the currency and also other charges. These other charges are accessorial. For example, customs duty fee and documentation. We'll click OK, and then now we can select the cargo information. We can enter loose or containerized cargo. For loose, we just enter the information here and leave containerized unchecked. For containerized, we click on containerized, and then we can select the container. In this example, we'll just enter loose cargo. Let's say we have 10 pieces and it's 50 kilos. For this example, we can leave volume blank and we can also choose our commodity type. Then we can click find and notice all three services show here. All three services are configured under accounting and the rate for air freight service is configured under rates. Once we're ready, we can click the create quotation button. Let's go field by field. The quotation number is automatically populated and can be configured under maintenance. Here we have the quotation's creation date and the expiration date, which is 30 days by default. We have the employee name and division. The issued by is our company name, and here we have the contact from the query. Then let's enter payment terms, for example, net 30, and we can enter inco terms. Here we can enter description of goods. If we click this button, we can recall information so we don't have to type it again. In this example, we'll just enter it manually. Now let's go to the routing tab and notice all the information populated from the query. We have the mode of transportation, the origin information, and the destination information. Here we notice there's no consignee, so in this example we'll add one. Now let's go to the commodities tab and notice we have one line for 10 pieces. We can use the add button to add additional loose cargo or use the add container button to add containerized cargo. Now let's go to the charges screen. In here we have the three services from the query. Notice these are all selling charges. Let's go ahead and add a cost. If we click the add button, we have income charges and expense charges. The air freight service listed here is an income freight charge and customs duty fee and documentation are income charges. If we had a cost for customs duty fee or documentation, we would enter that as an expense charge. In this example, we'll add a cost for the air freight service. If we click the units button, we can select the units for the charges. Let's go ahead and select kilos and then click OK. Here we can select the air freight service cost, enter a description, and then select the carrier. We can select prepaid at origin or collect at destination. We'll set it to prepaid in this example and then also choose USD for our currency. We can select how we want to apply this. In this example, we'll do it by weight. And then finally, we can either enter a rate or choose it by our predefined rates. This entry is automatically coming from my rates. 
we'll go ahead and select that and then notice 50 times 5 equals 250 US dollars. Anything in yellow will multiply. We can now click OK and we have our cost. On the bottom we can see our expense, our income and our total profit. There are some other tabs here but they're all optional. If we click events, we can add an event to the quotation if you like. Do this by clicking the add button. You can also add attachments such as documents or photos by clicking the add button or selecting your device. If you click the notes tab, you can enter in your notes or you can click the clause button and select from your predefined list. In this example, we have a quotation terms and condition, so we'll select that and then click OK. The internal notes tab is used to communicate amongst employees. Do this by clicking the new button. And then lastly, you may have a custom tab. This tab is used to show additional custom fields. All your custom fields can be configured under your maintenance. When we're ready, we can click the OK button, and now you have your quotation. If you click the Actions button, you can select any quotation template you like. Once you have your quotation, you can print it or email it. To wrap up this video, let's take a quick look at the quotation list. You can see the status of each quotation, such as Open, which are your pending quotations, or Posted, which are your accepted quotations. If you click the Detail button, you can click the Panels button to see much more information about the quotations. When a customer accepts a quote, you can select the quotation, then click the Actions button, and convert it into another transaction, such as a booking, pickup order, warehouse receipt, shipment, or invoice. All the data is carried over, saving you time and data entry. So now let's do a three-step process in order to show you how to customize your quotation list. First, click on Actions and choose your columns. Second, select from your predefined dates or click the Filter button and choose Standard or Advanced Filter. And third, save the view by clicking here and selecting Save this view. Enter your view name, then click OK, and then if you click here, you have your view. You can have as many views as you like. Be sure to check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.